Hey there folks, you know living off grid out in the mountains, it can be really tough, it gets cold up here. So you gotta have a generator or lots of solar to keep, uh, keep the heat going. One thing that we've had a little bit of trouble with in the past is bringing fuel out here to the mountain. And uh, I've tried several different types of gas cans, uh, usually plastic ones with spouts that don't uh, uh, really do what we need it to do. So today I'm going to show you uh, the latest gas can. Okay, folks, what we got here is the Just Right Safety Can. I believe these are made in Germany. You can also find them on JustRight.com. I purchased this can for about $120 and the main reason we purchased it was because of this spout another cool thing about this is it's very safe it has uh you you fuel up right through here so good way to come in is from behind the can with your nozzle uh fill up here and then on your spout when you pull this handle here that is going to open up the spout and let the fumes out which i just did <laughs> and i can definitely smell it so i'm going to put this into our fifth wheel rig and see how it works so this is the setup i have here with our cyclone 4007 it's a heartland fifth wheel um, this is my main tank here for fuel reservoir and then i've got my front tank which feeds my generator uh, my own generator and uh, so what I want to do is fill this guy up a little bit more and this tank over here I can transport fuel from this tank to that tank but I'm not going to do that today now a couple things uh, for safety I want to make sure that I touch this that I touch the can I don't want to, uh, you know, I don't want to create any spark or static electricity or anything like that. The other good thing uh, about this particular can is if, for some crazy reason, fire tried to get from here into here, uh, this particular can does not allow that. There's a screen inside of uh, inside of here that uh, keeps it from having any. A uh, backdraft or flash fire, I think is what you call it, back into the can. So that's why it's a safety can. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to lift it up here. I'm going to pull this as I pour the uh, gas into the reservoir. Now the gas is going into the tank. And the reason this tank seems to be a much better option is because other tanks that we've used, the spout either barely fits the hole or it's not long enough. And since we're not taking this big rig out on the road, we have to bring the fuel to it. It has a long enough spout to get all of the fuel into the tank. Okay, now I'm going to see how much slack I've got on this spout here. So, still got quite a bit. Yeah, it's definitely working way, way better than all the other cans that I've tried. We're going to get about four gallons of fuel into this bad boy. That'll keep our generator going for a while. Another nice thing about this can, no dripping, no losing any gasoline on the ground, which is dangerous. It smells bad too on your clothes. Looks like we got all the all the fuel out of here. I had four gallons in there. It's empty. Okay, I've got my generator right down here. I don't need to open that, but what I do need to do is turn my power back on. 
I've got the uh, the battery disconnect on. So in here we have solar power. I've got one solar panel and right now I've got about 13.8 on the voltage of that. I'm gonna flip this guy. Where do you see that? It's right up here. And then right here, this is my battery disconnect. So when I'm away, we always turn it off. Turning that back on. Now I've got one more battery disconnect to turn on. Heartland Cyclone, fifth wheels. Highly recommend it. Sorry about the mess in here. You can see right over here, I've got another battery disconnect. That's gonna give power to the rest of the RV. If you wanna follow me. It's been very, very cold out here, so we're gonna take a few minutes to get this guy fired up but now you can see I've got a full full charge of my batteries from the solar uh, so I'm gonna Should give the fuel. fuel tank okay so generator now we're almost full awesome. okay my other tank is also it's three quarters full so we got lots of fuel so let's see this guy hasn't been started up in a couple weeks. It usually takes a few times to get her going. But she fired up on the first try that time. And you can see the battery charge is full. And now she's probably going to kick off, which is okay. So I haven't started in a couple weeks. So what I'm gonna do now, just hit that stop button. I'm gonna prime it again a little bit, start. And then what I don't want is I don't want this guy to keep flashing, but it's gonna flash for a little bit. So there's fuel getting to the tank, to the generator, but it's not providing any power yet. It's okay. Cut her down again. Another thing I like to do, if, if I've tried to start it like four or five times, I'm going to give it a, a breather after this one. So try it one more time and then I'll let it sit and then it usually cranks on. Okay, I waited three minutes, pushed the prime button one time, hit start. Now she sounds really good. We'll go outside and there we go. Microwave just came on got the protector on now I'm gonna do is turn on my propane so we can get a little bit of heat going Have two tanks. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the backup tank as well. That's my generator exhaust. All right, folks. So I would say on a scale of one to ten, I'm gonna give that gas can a ten because uh putting fuel in here has been kind of a challenge um, i do have the other tank and inside of here i do have a hose where i can transfer fuel from that tank to that tank but i like to keep the other one filled up in case of emergency in case we get stuck up here or something but uh it's a beautiful day up here in the mountains hope you enjoyed this video if it helped you out Please remember to like and subscribe to our channel, Rockin' the Retired Life, and we will see you down the road. Don't miss an adventure.